Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I hope you're doing okay today. I'm in the process of cooking my lunch. I am cooking some split pea soup. And I know a lot of people don't do it this way, but I prefer carrots and potatoes and, and you know, a bunch of stuff in my split pea soup. I don't just like split pea soup with, with, uh, bacon in it, you know, just split peas and bacon, because to me it kind of resembles baby poop. I love the flavor of split pea soup, um, but I also, since I got my dentures, I want to be able to chew on stuff, and so I get my soup about two-thirds of the way cooked, and I'm really good at cooking for one person. I used to not be able to. Uh, used to I would have to make an entire pot of stuff because I grew up in a big family Cooking for a lot of people when it was my turn to cook. So uh, I used to make a great big pot of stuff and then I'd have leftovers all the time and uh, I've gotten away from that now. I know to take a you know a couple handfuls Just a couple handfuls of split peas and put them in the pot let them cook for a few hours till they're about two-thirds of the way done and then add my carrots and potatoes and my chunks of ham, uh, things like that, and let it finish cooking and stirring constantly for the next half hour or whatever on low heat. So I've learned how to cook for just one over the years. Uh, it took a long time, but like I said, since I got my dentures now, I like to be able to chew things. So I don't just like split pea soup with little bacon chick chunks in it. I like potatoes and carrots and sometimes bell peppers and onions and things that crunch, uh, things that I can chew. So I don't use bacon anymore. I use actual chunks of ham um, because I love being able to chew on stuff. And, you know, this new camera, I like the fact that it's got this suction cup on it, but um, I can suction it to a mirror or to a metal surface or something of that nature. I can't suction it to my table because it's wood and it's porous. It won't hold. Um, so what I learned how to do is I'll use my phone. And I don't know if you can see it. Right there's a ring around my phone. I can suction it to my phone and then I can set it anywhere I want um, and do a video. So I've been practicing with that this morning a little bit. Anyway, I am making, uh, finishing up my split pea soup here. I'm going to eat my lunch, and I'm going to get back out and get back to work because I have lots to do this fall before the snow starts flying. So uh, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Look at how delicious that is. Look at that. Oh, carrots and ham and peas and potatoes and onions. And, oh, my goodness, that's going to be a delicious meal. So... Yeah, if you want to know how to cook this, just, uh, you know, um, it's real simple. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a chef by any means, but I do uh, two full handfuls, do big handfuls of, you know, just reach in the bag, get a big handful of split peas, put them in the bottom of the pan, uh, fill the pan up about halfway with water, cover it, let them cook for a few hours until they start to soften. Once they start to soften up, keep your eyes on them, cook it for another hour, half hour, 45 minutes, whatever it takes. Um, once it starts to thicken, you know, because some of the peas will actually completely dissolve, and once it starts to thicken up a little bit, add, you know, make sure you don't have to add too much water, but then you add your carrots, potatoes, meat, all that stuff, and then you'll cook it for another half an hour, maybe an hour, depending on how well done you like stuff, and, uh, you know, it'll end up turning out really delicious. Um, Season to taste, of course, and uh, go from there. I'm going to pour this in my bowl here. One thing I learned about cooking for one is that you need a very small pan. Because if you're using a big pan, oh, I wish you could smell this. Oh, man, this smells amazing. Wow, that smells delicious. If you're using a big pan, the bigger the pan is, the more you're going to want to put in the pan. Um, that's just something that we do. So, something else I like with my uh, with my split pea soup, dill pickle Pringles. These are amazing with split pea soup. So, if you've never tried them, try them with split pea soup. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up.